Hello, I'm Bruce Bennett from AAA Metal Suppliers, and for the next few minutes, I'll show you how simple it is to use our System G. This system is for use on both timber and metal posts, both round or square. System G is easy to install on both types, and works just as well on both. Let's have a look at some typical components that make up System G. Here you see the Allen key tensioners that screw onto the terminal suede studs. Also, beveled washers for fitting under the heads of Allen key tensioners when System G is used for inclined balustrades such as stair handrails. 9mm split grommets if desired and finally the 316 marine grade stainless steel wire rope. In this case, we'll be using 3.2mm diameter 1x19 construction. Please note that this system is tensioned from the outside of the post and may not be suitable for all requirements, as it will not accommodate intersecting wires. To begin, start by making a suitable drilling template from a scrap board. In this case, the template will be spaced at 80mm centres to comply with BCA regulations. After marking out the required number of 80mm spacings, mark the centre distance of these lines. In this case, a tri-square is being used to transfer the distance. Once you have marked out your drilling template, drill it out using a 7.5mm drill bit. This is the correct size for drilling into the intermediate posts, so the body of the terminal swage studs will pass through them. Measure the centre of your anchor posts, ready for attaching the drilling template. Again, we see a tri-square being used as just one example of how to transfer these distances. Clamp your drilling template onto the anchor post. Using a 7.5mm drill, we recommend drilling the anchor post for System G just past halfway and then relocating the drilling template onto the other side of the anchor post. Continue to drill into your post until the hole runs all the way through, ready for the swaged wire to be passed through. Note, the 7.5mm diameter holes will need to be enlarged at a later stage to 8.5mm in diameter to accommodate the respective anchor fittings. But this only takes a moment, and at this stage it is easier just to continue drilling every post using a 7.5 millimetre drill. For drilling the intermediate posts, first measure the centre of the post so the drilling template can be clamped correctly into position. Please note, if using pre-swaged wires, a 7.5 millimetre drill hole will be required to allow the wire stud end of the rigging screw to pass through. If you intend to use split grommets, you will need to drill with a 9mm drill bit to accommodate the 9mm diameter grommets. We always recommend drilling your intermediates just past halfway and then relocating the drilling template on the other side of the intermediate post. Once you have relocated the drilling template, Continue to drill your post till the hole runs all the way through the intermediate, ready for the wire to be passed through. By drilling from both sides, you are more likely to have your wires enter and exit in the correct locations. To measure and cut the wire, begin by measuring the outside distance from anchor point to anchor point. From this measurement, deduct 145 millimetres. For example, if your outside measurement was 1800mm, then you would need to cut your wires to a length of 
1655 millimeters. This still allows you an additional adjustment of 35 millimeters to tension the wires if required. If you are not using 80 millimeter terminal studs, check with us as to the correct amount to cut the wire. Wire rope is very strong and can be difficult to cut, so it is best to use a pair of parrot beak wire cutters. Remember, it is good practice to only cut one wire at this stage, swage it and install it to check for any mistakes. To secure the wires to the studs, begin by turning the pump valve on the mini hydraulic swager clockwise. Place a terminal swage stud into the jaws of the mini hydraulic swager and start pumping until the jaws are just holding the terminal stud. Don't over pump at this stage or you will crush the terminal stud and you won't be able to push the wire all the way in. Yeah, I'm just gonna put the wire. Push the wire firmly into the swage stud and then continue to pump until firm pressure is applied. The faces of the jaws do not have to touch to create a strong crimp. Turn the pump valve anti-clockwise about a quarter of a turn and allow the pressure to release. The jaws will come apart and you can remove the swage stud, which now has the wire firmly attached. When done properly, the tensile strength of the crimp should be approximately 800 kilograms. You should check the shape of your crimp against the test sample crimp supplied with the mini hydraulic swager. Now use the mini hydraulic swager to swage a terminal swage stud to the other end of the wire rope. Check to be sure the trial wire fits correctly, then cut the other wires and swage on the terminal swage studs. Once you have hydraulically swaged all of your wires with right hand threaded terminals on each end, you are ready to fit them. In system G, the wire does not need to rotate. The Allen key tensioners act as both anchor points and tensioners when the terminal wire stud is screwed into them. It is now a simple process of passing the wires through any intermediate posts and pushing the wire stud into the anchor post. From the outside of the post, push in the Allen key tensioner and rotate it clockwise until it just catches the wire stud. Hold the wire whilst you are doing this. Once it starts screwing, rotate it about three or four turns to ensure you have not cross-threaded the stud and the Allen key tensioner. Go to the other end and repeat the process, but rotate it about 10 turns. From now on, work from each end to finish with approximately the same number of turns until the wire is suitably tensioned. It only needs to be firm and not sagging, not piano wire tight. Be careful not to over tighten the wire as you can exert a tremendous amount of force on your posts if you try to make the wire too tight. Remember, to comply with BCA regulations, the wire rope only has to support a two kilogram weight without deflecting more than five millimeters from its horizontal position. To enhance the look of your balustrade, you may wish to fit our easy to use 9mm diameter split grommets. Open the grommet with a suitable implement, in this case we're using a pen. Hold it to the wire, remove the pen, slide the grommet along the wire and plug it into the post. It is easy to maintain a good surface finish on your wires and avoid possible discoloration by applying some car wax. This only takes a moment, but gives months of protection. Remember, AAA Metal Suppliers for all your balustrading needs.